Okay, so this is just a quick follow-up to the video about the input lag on that uh, cheap capture converter and why I'm using the OSCC instead, which is here. But somebody suggested, uh, why don't you just get an old TV or something and try that instead? And turns out that's exactly what I've got. I've actually got a 42-inch TV here, which I've got plugged into the Amiga 600 down there. And uh, one of the reasons I kept this, I've had it for more than 10 years, I think. One reason I kept it is because it's got SCAR input, and I'll show you the back. Yeah, it's actually got a SCAR input there, um, in addition to HDMI, and it's a 1080p television. So uh, I've continued just to keep this, and you can see there I've got the Amiga plugged in through the SCAR input there. Um, I don't know what model television this is. There it is. 42 CS460, it's an LG television. So um, yeah, I've had this for quite some time. And the picture's not so bad, it's got a 4.3 mode, so you can see there, that's Turrican. It looks okay. Um, it's not as good as the uh, OSSC converter, but you know, it's, it's usable, and it's got the right aspect ratio, so that's pretty good. So uh, we should test the input lag on this and see if this performs any better than the cheapo Amazon HD unbranded converter. So I'll do that now. I'll switch the camera over to 200 FPS and we'll give that a go. So here's the results of the Turrican 2 test. So I'm just going to press the button on the joystick. I think it's there. So yeah, there. So the button's been pressed. We'll see how many frames it is before we see anything on the screen. It's five milliseconds per frame because I'm recording at 200 FPS. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 frames, and I can see the muzzle flash on Turrican 2. So 20 frames, that's 100 milliseconds for the LG TV to respond um, to the input. So that's actually, uh, it was 50 milliseconds for the OSSC. Uh, it's 100 milliseconds for this LG television. So it's added an extra 50 milliseconds of latency. That's two Amiga frames of latency. And the cheapo Amazon converter, the HD video converter, was actually 145 milliseconds um, to respond. So that actually doubles that. So the LG TV, the inputs on that, actually aren't as bad as that converter box. Uh, and I was actually having a quick go at Turrican 2 on that, and it didn't feel really bad. Uh, it's still worse than the OSSC, and the picture quality is a little bit worse as well. But um, on the whole, the the actual inputs on that television are actually, you know, worth using over that capture box uh, if you can. So your mileage might vary if you find an old television that's got SCAR input or some kind of input that the Amiga will accept. Mileage may vary. You may get better results. You may get worse. So I'll put the results of this on the screen. Um, between the three things that I measured and yeah the the TV wasn't as bad as the converter but still nowhere near as good as the OSSC so yeah your mileage may vary but it would be worth trying out an old TV if you've got one instead of that converter box uh, as you might get better results so as a bonus follow-up one of the other questions was what about the screen modes in Workbench and how does the OSCC handle those because uh, everything I showed in the video was actually done at uh, low res, was it, I think? Uh, well, the games would have been in low res, which would have been this resolution, 320 by 256. Uh, but you see here already I'm actually using Workbench in high res, which is 640 by 256. So let's try high res laced. Let's see how, let's just test these. So that's high res laced, and that has got the original Amiga horrific flicker that you get, so it can display that. Um, looks like the circles are actually circular in that one. So when it changes over, my monitor takes a bit longer to change than you see on the capture, so I'm having to wait a bit longer. Um, low res, we've already seen that in the video games, so that works completely fine. Again, the circles are circular. Uh, low res laced, let's try that one. So that's double the vertical resolution. And yep, horribly flickery as the original Amiga was. The circles aren't so circular in this one. They look a bit more elliptical, but it still looks pretty good. It's not too bad. It looks as horrible as the original Amiga did. And what else have we got? Super high res, 1280 by 256. Let's test that one. So that looks not too bad as well. That's look on the capture. That looks about as good as it. Well, it looks a bit better on my monitor than it does on the capture, but 
Um, that's not bad. Again, now the, the circles are kind of stretch horizontally a little bit now, but still it's not too bad. It can display it and super high res lace, 1280 by 512. What an incredible resolution for such an old computer. Let's test that one and wait for it. There it is in all of its glory. That one looks pretty good. Actually, the aspect ratio looks pretty good. The circles are reasonably circular on that one. And it's got, yes, a horrific amount of flicker, uh, which may be coming out differently on the capture because of the um, just the way it's captured. But um, it looks pretty good on the monitor. It looks as <laughs> it looks as good as it did back in the day, which I never liked using those original um, displays. So let's try um, uh, let's try super high res. Let's use that one. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, super high res. Here we go. Yep, there you go. So. It works fine, it's just as responsive as the other modes. And the text is quite readable on my monitor, so that's pretty good. Overscan printer screen mode, I can read all that. I mean, I, I don't like these modes. I never used to put my Amiga in these modes uh, back in the day. I could never use the interlace modes, they were horrible. Um, let's try low res, let's see what that looks like. Because we know these all work now. See, that looks absolutely fine. Well, as good as it did. So, Let's use that one. Go back to what we were in. Yeah, and that's the that's the mode that I'm I'm normally in. So that looks perfectly fine. So all the display modes basically work. In fact, let's just quickly try the super high res mode. Super high res lace. Let's try that one. There it is, and it's horribly flickery, which is how the original Mega was. I mean, I, I just could not look at that. That is completely horrific, but it totally works. It's absolutely fine. And yes, you will have a seizure <laughs> looking at that all day. <laughs> so so uh, let's go back to good old fashioned, uh, good old fashioned high res, which is where I'm at on my Amiga. And there it is. That looks pretty good. So not too bad. So yeah, there you go. Workbench is completely fine. Um, with the uh, OSSC. It, it doesn't mind any of the screen resolutions that I can throw at it anyway. So confirmed, works. I, I think the Amazon Cheapo works as well and I bet my LG TV works as well to be honest. But just to confirm that the OSSC won't have any trouble with anything you throw at it. Um, but your eyes may have trouble with interlace mode. 